just requested my final Uber in Rio. I'm glad I had a really kind and understanding Uber driver because I definitely had a really good, hard, ugly cry in the Uber car on the way here. <laughs> Clearly, I'm just not meant to be leaving Rio. This is ridiculous. <coughs> Didn't make it on the flight. I got kicked off of the flight because of the payload optimization. And then uh, there's a flight tomorrow that's already full. There's not another flight until Monday that goes out from here. So there's some flights that go out from Sao Paulo, although they don't look like they have a lot of seats open. But I got switched over to the Sao Paulo thing. Now I got to get to Sao Paulo from here, which I can do as long as I can get to the other airport. I'm currently at Galeon. I need to get to Santos Dumont. And that flight doesn't leave until 8.40 in the morning. So what do I do tonight? My apartment's closed. I have all of my stuff that I own. So this is fun. Texting all my Brazilian friends right now. However, the Wi-Fi here sucks. And I don't have data because I don't have a phone plan. Don't come to Brazil without an unlocked phone for crying out loud. Please and thank you. I was not very smart on that part. Okay, so I got some things sorted out last night thanks to this lady right here. <laughs> Andrea let me crash at her place whenever I had to change airports and do all this other craziness. And now we're going to the airport to catch my flight to Sao Paulo. Hopefully I can get some money out of the bank because I don't have any money to pay for my luggage storage that I put it in last night and it's just a mess. Shania, I feel like you planned this trip for me, just saying.
So waiting paid off. It took me a day and a half, but I'm in an airplane, finally headed to the States, and I'm actually really excited because I got first class seat. Macy's Parade this year, so this is my New York for the year. Hello. 